Hey everyone, welcome to Wool Hockey YouTube channel. In this video we will watch a highlights in the first final game at the 1996 World Cup of Hockey between Canada and USA. Those teams already played against each other during this tournament at the group stage, and the US won 5-3. Both teams had the brightest stars of that generation at their roster. Just listen to those names. Gretzky, Lindros, Sakic, Iserman, Kofi, Blake, Niedermeyer, Stevens, Shanahan, insane team. And on the other side, Hall, Madano, Lafontaine, Chelis, Hatcher, Amonti, Richter, Leach, Guerin. It all sounds like an all-star game. This memorable game started on September 10, 1996 and took place at Philadelphia. Capanello from Guelph and Kevin Collins from Springfield are the linesmen. The replay official is Mike Condon. The keys for Team USA, in my mind, going into this game, they've had great success getting their game going, getting the first goal. They've got that wide speed. They will try to use it to keep Canada backing up, backing up, backing up. Now, 88-94 is Lindros and Shanahan. They're on the same line. They're big forward-checking forwards. Lindros is playing the right wing. In fact, he's starting the game with Sackett playing center. Their job is to forecheck and knock the U.S. team backwards, bang in the corners. That's the game plan for them. We'll see if the U.S. club can withstand those two big forwards. Well, this morning, Ron Wilson said we're going to put Darian Hatcher out there when we can get him there. And as the home team, I think I can do that a lot. Whenever Lindros is out there with Shanahan, and that's exactly how they're starting. Leach took the pass from Hatcher and misfired for Garrett. Tapped by Joseph, spun around by Desjardins. Chipped further and followed up but loose off of Scott Stevens. Brought back ahead, turning with it is Lindros, but the shot snuffed out by the defensive leech. As Ardan played it on through, Rod Brindamore moving with it. Brindamore in the deep slot, across now to Stevens. Scott Stevens with a pass in front, and it's spiked wide by Iserman. Turned back to the point, but back down. In the way they handle the puck, when the other team fires it in, once they cross center ice. Lindros across, Paul Coffey up with it there, looking for a pass, dumped one in front, Tipped on by Kachuk, walked right back by Doug Waite, but lost. Waite got it back again. Doug Waite around behind, and the pass went swirling through, and a drive is shrugged away by Joseph. Kachuk trying to play that, but can't. Good check by Scott Young. Claude Lemieux outlets, and here comes Canada. Mark Messier brings it on. Big drive, and a save made by Richter. Follow up by Blake, a shot. Oh, and Richter grabbed it. 4.25 left, a cautious start but it's picking up and no score. Rush back out of trouble. Thrown along by Blake. Picked up by Doug Wade. Walking it ahead. Drops a pass on for a shot that went wide by Amante. Kept alive and rolled around near Amante again. Rob Blake got the bump on him and control of the puck too. Rod Brindamore to take this one. Brindamore lays a pass back out. Dom Foos fresh in the box. Hands it across. Nice turn and take. Flip back ahead. Dom Foos is in. play by Trevor Linden across the way but a save made by Richter and now a penalty coming up to Team USA it will be a slash players box he injured his right leg blocking the wrist shot from Sackick chip back in near Richter Richter whips it off the glass and it escapes for a two on one Pat LaFontaine with Scott Young coffee back hit the post with the shot ricocheted off the crossbar it appeared absolutely a rising shot by Gretzky, knocked down by LaFontaine. Gretzky yanks it along, 50 to go power play. Shanahan holding now for Canada. Brendan Shanahan pivots, lays it back for Niedermeyer. Wrist one, turned aside by Richter, off of Richter, and another try by Gretzky. What a finesse move by Gretzky, what an answer by Richter. To the point now, Niedermeyer shooting, and that one blocked down by the defense. Thrown back down the ice by Young. Eric Lindros there to get it, off of Gretzky on back to Blake. to the point. Big shot by Blake. Score! A deflection by Eric Lindros. A power play goal for Canada. It is 1-0. Eric Lindros has been hit, and he has been hit a lot, but he's handled the hits. And as three Canadian players got along the near boards, the puck was put back to the point, and Lindros scores his second goal of the tournament by driving to the net with a stick down. 
There's Gretzky moving the puck back. Watched a good low shot by Blake. Now Lindros is there. Little deflection. I believe he got it and not Dom Foos. It could have been Dom Foos, but I think it was Lindros. To the net. Stick down. Set the target. Yes. And it went against the grain. Back to his left, to the left side of the goaltender, 1-0 Canada on the power play. Lindros took another hit, Mike, along the boards, but still made the play. He is such a big power forward that he can get to loose pucks ahead of most people, take a hit, and still make the play. Amani dropped it behind, and Leach took over. Leach for Team USA with a pass that went off of Leclerc, brought on by Tony Amani, and the pass to Smolinski. The young defenseman went to his forehand with that long reach and had the open side. We're tied up at one. Desjardins comes to the bench and Adam Foote comes out. Pass is slowed down, taken by Sackick. He's got Shanahan. Sackick, a shot, kick back. Another shot knocked down by the defense. Oh, Richter was strong and now here they come. Moving back in. It's Kachuk. Save. Rebound went off. Kachuk and wide. Oh, Kachuk was in alone. wrapped it around. It came all the way over to Doug Waite on this U.S. power play. Back to Leach, then to Waite. Leclerc jostling at the front of the net with Coffey. Waite controls. Side of the net. A shot save. Rebound. Scramble at the front of the net. And the whistle and stoppage of play as it's covered. That was Brett Hall on the side of the goal to the right side of Curtis Joseph. What he's hoping is that Joseph will leave the goal post early and, and, and leave some space between the goal post and the goaltender. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Team USA took a penalty, as I believe Gary Suter will get the call. Taken out by Lindros. Oh, man. Sack again, Lindros getting away with him. Hall a shot high off of Joseph, and the rebound popped wide of the net. The Hatcher's back up, right back in the play. He is having some night head-to-head -head with Lindros. Mercy, here's Leach moving. Leach around behind. Leach controlling, looking for help.
and the finish up top. Curtis Joseph with no chance. Lindros is close to a breakaway. Watch this. Right here. Breakaway. No. Darian Hatcher now goes to the net. Bullseye pass. Great finish. 2-1. Team USA. Two goals for Hatcher. Their first lead. Now Saki can three on two. Bringing it on to Lindros. Drops to Shannon. to play, but it's Messier ahead. Big drive, and it's off the tip of the glove of Richter. Casual pass. Leach lifts it out. Team USA bringing it on. Madonna left it behind, but it's taken by Denmark. 125 to go in the second period. Team USA by one. It is Madonna looking for Denmark. Ben it to Chelios, and he rocketed off the glass. Now Lindros starts it back out for Rod Brindamore, hustling ahead. Brindamore moving in. Over to Shanahan, looking for a pass but it's away from Lindros. Well. 47 to go. Adam Graves from the New York Rangers to teammate Mark Messier for Canada. Messier moving in. He has Lemieux in front. Score! Canada has tied the game. A toss to the front by Messier. Lemieux was at the side of the net. And in the last 39 seconds of the second period, we're back even. And there's some Canadian flags here, too. Lemieux, I think, knocked the puck out of midair when he scored the goal on the play. In fact, I think he broke a stick in half when he scored the goal. Messier went wide. Messier's been a power in this game. Look how he beat the defenseman Schneider to keep the play alive. Hatcher moves across, so both defensemen on one side, and you can see where Scott Young did a nice job coming back with Lemieux. He did the right thing. You pick your man up, stay with him, but the Lemieux, Young, Richter, and the puck all arrived at the same time, and Lemieux knocked the puck in. Lemieux gets the goal at 19-21. Mark Messier will get the assist. Now, right now, Brian Leach is talking to the referee along with Shanahan. Shanahan's listening. Leach is saying that shouldn't have been a goal because Lemieux was in the goal crease. But the, the rule reads if the puck arrives at the same time, it's to be allowed. If Lemieux is not pushed in, he goes into the crease on his own, it is not to be a goal. So they're now going upstairs to check it out, I think, Mike. Now Lemieux has Young on him. Let's watch, let's watch the whole play. Young is with Lemieux. Lemieux was in the crease before the puck got there. That may be disallowed in watching that. I don't think Scott Young pushed Lemieux into the crease. I think he went there on his own. No, it's, it's allowed. They're saying it is allowed. They must say that everything arrived at the same time. And with their view, they have a view up top. They got views from behind. They got views everywhere. There's Lemieux. Now, maybe they're saying he's pushed in by Scott Young. However, it's allowed, and we're tied up at two. Scott Stevens takes over for Canada, hands up to Lindros. Lindros trying to dangle it a bit, gets it to Sackick, dealt with a cross on a shot by Shanahan, was blocked by Richter, and then he was looking around, but he had help. That's a brilliant save about having their third forward back, something that the Team USA club has been good at in this tournament. Lindros had it knocked away, but in front of Lindros. He has been there for his club here in the third period. Here comes Theo Fleury, and Fleury got by hook, and he scores! Theo Fleury has broken the tie! It's Wayne Gretzky's wife, Janet, looking on. Fleury went wide, scored on the short side on Mike Richter. Fleury, along with Iserman, not getting much ice time, and along with Brindamore, too. The three of them watching a lot, yet he gets off the bench, and with all that energy, he makes it happen. Turnover in the neutral zone leads to the nice pass across. As you'll see, Brindamore actually was stood up. Now Fleury just darts in and gets the puck, goes around Gary Suter. He takes two slashes and uses the, the reach and the smarts to go around Mike Richter. Canada leads 3-2 with 10.02 to go in the third period. He had very little room to jam it in on the short side. I think Richter expected Fleury to go to Richter's right, to Fleury's left. And I think Fleury fooled everybody, stayed strong with his legs wide, and got the go-ahead goal. Last on for Madano, fresh from the bench to Chelios. Nice turn with it. Chris Chelios crossing, couldn't get the pass across as it was blocked off. And now here comes Trevor Linden. He's got Desjardins moving with him, and Gretzky in the big drive! And getting a piece of it again was Richter. Now the puck went through Richter. 
Hunter, but wide of the goal. Here's Smolinski moving in. Smolinski forehander and a save by Joseph. Big drive by Kachuk was wide. It's intercepted by Smolinski moving back in. His drive and a save made by Joseph on that. 6-10 to go in the third period. Off of LeClaire's stick. Blake tried to angle it back. Hung up in the linesman's skates and played by Gretzky to the slot. Oh, and Dom Foos was run to the ditch. The big hit by Bill Guerin. The puck to Madonna. Hooked it in on goal. And Joseph covers and play is stopped. 5.51 to go in the third. It's Canada still by one. Here is Tony Amante. Check. Still battling for the puck. He and Adam Foot contesting. And it's thrown along by Messier. But it hit the back of the goal. And here's LeClaire. Joseph, 36.1 to go. Mark Boisset right now is looking down the ice looking for his tooth. He was just looking at the area where he got hit, trying to find the tooth that's missing. So here we go. Mark Messier will take the draw for Team Canada. The fans standing and applauding Team USA. They need a goal to tie this thing up. Chelios and Leach will be back near the blue line. Pat LaFontaine will have to take it opposite Mark Messier. Is out and so is Leclerc and so is Wade. One false start. LaFontaine is out. Doug Wade is in against Messier. From the tie up to the corner, Messier lifts it back out to the last 30 seconds. Lemieux battling. Team USA trying to lift it in, can't do it. It's off Lemieux's stick and slugged all the way back down the ice. There'll be another. Wake striding back to get the touch up of it and does with 19.9 to go. The strength of Mark Messier. He had to go against LaFontaine. LaFontaine was thrown out. They put Doug Wade in there. When the puck was dropped, Messier's strength almost knocked the stick right out of the hands of Doug Wade. Look at Wade. He had one hand knocked right off the stick with the strength of Mark Messier. Look at the hands of the sentiment in white. Look at that. Messier's strength knocked Wade's hand right off the stick. And Team Canada controlled the draw. Here we go again. A bigger sentiment now. Otto against Messier. That makes some sense. Old days. Calgary against Edmonton with these two. A false start. Otto says it was Messier. They'll do it again. Otto loves to get his head low. Almost bang heads with the other sentiment. Off the tie-up. It's kept by Chelios in the shot. Knocked down 16 to go. And it's laid back out again. Striding back as Leach as the puck goes wide against Canada, 9.8 left. And Leach wants to hustle back to knock time without allowing the clock to tick away, but he doesn't want to get there too fast because he still wants an icing. That time, Otto and Messier went at one another, but Team Canada got to all the loose pucks and finally worked the puck out of the zone. Now we have the third face-off in the last 40 seconds to the right side, the near side of Curtis Joseph. And again, Messier goes. Again, it's against Otto. If there's a neutral a face-off, the other players have to get in and find the loose puck. Canada is now looking at USA with all the players up except for Chelios. Colin Kachuk and Leclerc with Otto. Leach and Chelios at the back. Leach is pulled in at the edge of the circle. Messier got tossed. They don't have another natural centerman. Graves does take draws, but not nearly as many as Messier. Team Canada or Team USA, it doesn't much matter. 
There's Desjardins, and there's Leclerc, and the puck is over the line. We're tied up at three with 6.3 seconds to go. Three, John Leclerc tied it with under seven seconds to go. Dump boost is in, got it to sacking, save made by Richter. Sacking again, dropped it along behind the Dump boost. Vincent Dump boost, a backhander, and that one shanked loose by Chelios. Worked back to the point. Paul Coffey there, but into Denmark. Thrown around by Dump boost. Gretzky turning, trying to get out in front, hooked off on the play. Joel Otto there, trying to clear, but it's kept alive at the point by sacking. Loose puck, fed ahead by Chelios, and on to Denmark. Denmark deliberately ahead for the short-handed team USA. Denmark fed one across, fading on the shot, out of the air. A tough one was Lafonte. Able to play it to Lemieux and then back out its nudge. Little tap ahead by Fleury is on now for Iserman. Steve Iserman with a shot! shot and out shooting Team USA 7-1. The shot by Iserman goes in the second game winning goal of the tournament. He went wide, he went high to the catching glove side and Richter I thought had made the save. I was going oh what a save that was. Brenda Moore, Fleury and Iserman. They've hardly played. They're fresh. We saw it last time. Iserman and Brenda Moore were on the ice. Watch him go wide and snap the shot. Now watch Richter's glove through the screen. I thought he had it. And somehow the puck dropped down, barely over the line as Amanti fished it out. But the puck was over the line. It's 4-3 Canada. The tournament now goes to Montreal. Heiserman used the screen. He reached out with that right-handed shot, flipped the puck. Watch it come down and over the goal line by about six inches. I thought at first Mike Richter had made the save. Game 2 of this final series started in two days in Montreal. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like the video.